I'm Jerry Nelson. I'm a professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the University of California at Santa Cruz. Um, I'm an astronomer. I've been, I was trained as a physicist, but I got into astronomy um, when I was in graduate school. And somewhat after that, I ended up getting interested in telescopes. And I've now spent uh, some 30 years uh, thinking about how to build giant telescopes. As a result of that early thinking, I generated ideas for making a segmented mirror telescope, and that grew to fruition through lots of hard work of lots of people uh, in building the two Keck telescopes. My involvement in the Keck telescope preceded the Keck telescope. Um, it was a curious thing. I was busy doing astronomy and building my own instrumentation for the projects I was interested in. I was looking at pulsars and x-ray binaries, things like that, in the optical. And I think partially because of my bent for instrumentation, I was asked to serve on a committee at the University of California to look into the future astronomy needs for the, for the University of California. And out of sort of that prompting, I thought about, well, how do you make big telescopes? And came to the conclusion that extrapolating from what had been done to that time uh, was not the right way to go. That is, up to that time we'd built monolithic mirrors that were getting incredibly expensive and bulky and decided that we should do it differently and that uh, thought about doing it with segmented mirrors and then thought through all the challenges and problems with that and uh, devised technical solutions for that and so proposed uh, to the university that we could build a 10 meter telescope, 5 meter telescope being the biggest in the world at the time, uh, said, oh, we, sh we, should, we ought to go double in size to get a real new science capability. And that I thought 10 meters was practical and worked out the, the design details for that. And ultimately, uh, Caltech joined the project. And so UC and Caltech uh, together formed the astronomical basis for building what's now become the Keck Observatory. Yeah, the 30 meter telescope is, as one might imagine, a huge project with all these partners. Uh, we started seriously working on it in about 2005. Set up a project office, we have a project manager, and there are many people amongst our partners who are working on this, um, and many people working full time on this. The project uh, will be to build a 30 meter telescope. That telescope will be built near the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii. And our current plan, we're still in the design phase. And, but we're nearing the end of that, and we expect to start construction towards the end of 2011. I think the foremost technical problem is making the mirror segments. These are segmented mirror telescopes. Keck has 36 hexagonal mirror segments that make up its primary mirror. TMT will have 492 hexagonal segments. The whole primary mirror is basically a paraboloid, and so the segments are off-axis pieces of that. They're not figures of revolution about their own center. And so polishing mirrors of that shape is an unusual problem and very difficult one. And doing that successfully such that the ensemble of all of these segments form the same primary mirror is a really big challenge to not just polish one mirror but polish them all to the same figure and to get it done economically and promptly. Hence, we have an active control system. And that means you need a way of sensing where the mirror segments are relative to each other and a means of controlling them so they all end up to the adequate tolerances in exactly where you want them to be. There are two basic pressures. One says that the smaller you make the mirror segments, the thinner, lighter, and cheaper they will be and easier to polish because they're closer and closer to being a sphere. On the other hand, as they get smaller and smaller, you need more and more edge sensors, the, the approach we've used, more actuators, more copper wire, more computing, and so you get a lot of complexity in the part count. And you can imagine if you go too far in either direction, you'll be far away from the minimum cost. So we put a fair amount of effort into finding the minimum cost while being sensitive to people's fears, not necessarily rational, about the risks of going in either direction. And so for Keck, we concluded that 1.8 meter diameter mirror segments, 36 mirror segments, was 
the optimal choice. So we thought smaller segments was the right way to go, even though that would mean needing many more segments for a bigger telescope. We tried going down to a meter for that, and there was lots of debate, discussion, some of it rational, some of it not rational, and ended up at 1.4 meters as the, our best guess, as that balance between minimizing cost and making sure that we could conquer the technology and the complexity. And hence, TMT will have 492 segments, a huge step up from 36, but in our view, the right size. And I would imagine that the future of segmented mirror telescopes will push to smaller and smaller segments, again, as, te as the technological problems are solved and, and clever and cheaper solutions are developed.